now what you need to keep it in mind while writing an answer yeah while writing an answer you shall ensure this fact that hello everyone welcome to plutus ias and myself akshay guru see uh, guys now the result of upsc preliminary 2024 examination has now been declared i wish you uh, congratulate first right for those who able to secure their number and name in that list and now approaching for the next level of examination that is the mains answer writing examination and i equally wish you all the best for those who haven't able to clear this examination but believe me see if you continue with this journey right uh, for the next attempt you will able to secure your name in the final list itself so this video that is on you must you now you entered into the video just uh, with the same you know uh, the title itself the strategy for upsc answer writing so for whom this video i am actually making for this video is for that individual who has secured okay who, who is going to appear for the mains 2024 examination who is you know who got failed in this attempt however you are going to appear for even the next 2025 examination and equally if someone who is preparing this examination from the very scratch even then this video is of very important so watch it till the end and i'll ensure this fact that at the plutus ias you will yet on, on this channel you will be you know like much fulfilled about how to approach this answer writing ultimately at the plutus ias we regularly ensure this fact ki answer writing sessions hote rahe and equally the toppers ki jo copies hai hai na aur unke jo sessions hai answer writing sessions so that our students will be much you know equipped with the answer writing skills now taking the crux of all those discussion i am here to present that this video then so what i have seen yeah i have gone through many copies and uh, and many uh, interacted with many toppers and many students as well and you know the what at the end of this uh, particular discussion that i concluded this fact that see answer writing is not merely like an answer writing never consider it merely an answer writing answer writing is rather an art yeah now what does that mean by an art it simply means your answer is your lawyer it simply means that your answer is your personality the way you write your answer simply reflects the kind of person you are hai na and just like when you are going to attain any interview or any function you are well dressed you are pretty much you know like well prepared for in a same way your answer should look like and that is itself you know an art so it your answer is your is representative of yours before a evaluator before examiner and hence it should be well equipped with all those things that really it is needed so ab dekho fir next what answer writing or what a good answer requires then if you go if you have gone through a uh, toppers answer scripts and copies hai na to मुझे तो फिर बेसिकली यहाँ पे तीन चीजें दिखी है जो जनरली हम इन आर क्लासेस एज वेल ओवर एट द प्लूटस आई एस वी यूजली यू नो डिस्कस अबाउट दैट देर आर थ्री रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर ए गुड आंसर एंड दोज आर ए पेन ए पेपर राइट एंड यू दैट द वन हु इज गोइंग टू राइट द आंसर ना यू गाइज मस्ट बी लाइक के सर मतलब दिस थ्री आर बेसिकली यू नो आर रियली हाउ हाउ कम दिस फॉर्म से गुड आंसर सी आई फील द फर्स्ट टू आर रैदर इंपॉर्टेंट नो डाउट रैदर इंपॉर्टेंट बट दे आर कंपेरेटिवली इंफेरियर टू दर्ड पॉइंट कंपेरेटिवली इंटेरियर टू दर्ड पॉइंट द रीजन बींग इट्स नॉट लाइक पेन या यू शुड हैव गुड 
pain as well while writing answer so that your speed and your handwriting will be maintained a paper right the paper will be provided to you or before examination you will be writing on that particular aspect so it should be there and you now don't consider this you like merely you now this individual is what it means your ideas your thoughts about the topic your content your skills your representation your representation so the thing is you are not alone you are with all this what upsc expects you know uh, uh, in someone who is writing that answer so you are with your ideas you are with your innovations you are with your representation you are with your skills and content that gives a, an evaluator I, this uh, you know idea or like understanding yes he is you know a, having a good administrative skills as well so yes now what exactly you it means see like on this slide you will find you it means content remember content is a king like content is you know just like in upsc notification if you have gone through you will find waha pe likha hai clearly that the content of your answer is more important than its length and thus you cannot neglect the strength of the content content is king so the very first and the foremost thing i would rather mention over here that you should have strong command over your content to jo answer write kar rahe ho that should be well contained answer content best answer do in examination out of 20 questions sare hum utne hi best content ke sath nahi denge राइट right? अगर टॉपर्स का देखा है आपने तो ये होगा ही बट फिर भी वी विल शेल ट्राई फॉर द बेस्ट ऑफ आवर कंटेंट प्रोविजन सो कंटेंट इज द किंग देन स्किल्स फॉर राइडिंग आंसर यू आर विद द स्किल फॉर राइडिंग आंसर हाउ टू एंश्योर यू नो हाउ टू राइट दैट हैंड राइटिंग दैट इज लिजिबल हाउ टू राइट इन अ वे दैट इज यू नो द आंसर इज वेल स्ट्रक्चर्ड हाउ टू एंश्योर दिस वे दैट डिमांड इज राधर फुलफिल्ड हाउ टू एंश्योर दैट राइट एंड अडिक्वेट माइक्रो डायग्राम्स हाव बीन एडेड हाउ टू मेक यूर आर्ग्यूमेंट much stronger while making you know like while uh, again suggesting any solution or reasons for that matter so this skills for writing answer is with you then again this mapping skill see in the geography gs1 in essay even over in the paper 2 as well international relation over in the paper 3 the economy and that mapping skill and in your optional you guys will find mapping skill is really important mapping i mean it by mapping that means diagrams as well figures as well some innovative flow charts as well that will rather help you to you know to represent yourself as in terms of answer in the best possible way okay so this one drawing diagram figures along with and some टाइम मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजी सी गाइज अगर आपने टॉपर के स्क्रिप्ट देखी होगी वीडियो स्क्रिप्ट या इवन रिटर्न स्क्रिप्ट ब्लॉग्स यू मस्ट हैव फाइन that that the, it is very difficult to complete the answer like within 3 hours itself to all those 20 questions so you have to compromise with some quality but the, still the thing is you need to ensure ki within that 180 minutes without compromising with lots of quality as in how you guys will be ensuring that ke ye aapka paper complete ho jaye without losing the demand without losing the content and without even you know losing the very touch of your understanding with it so that you it means all this factors i mean okay next now what you need to keep it in mind while writing an answer yeah while writing answer you shall ensure this fact that demand is the foremost dekho see what usually i have seen uh, like in uh, the beginners answer particularly i would say or many times you know some some times so called experts as well that they tend to write in answer like what they know about the topic that is not an answer writing that is not by any means an art 
That is a memorization skill itself, right? आपने कुछ नहीं किया आपने कुछ मगप किया है राइट एंड एंड यू जस्ट प्रेजेंटेड इट ओवर इन द पेपर सी दैट इज नॉट ए ट्रू आंसर राइडिंग वॉट यू शुड एंश्योर दैट यूर कंटेंट शुड बी फुलफिलिंग द डिमांड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ ठीक है सो डिमांड इज द फॉर्म इज आंसर शुड बी वेल स्ट्रक्चर ना वॉट डज दैट मीन बाय वेल स्ट्रक्चर योर आंसर इज लाइक यू नो इज लाइक ए ह्यूमन बॉडी इट सेल्फ राइट I know uh, uh, my drawing skill, like particularly human drawing skills, are comparatively poor. But I, I know that you all understand. Okay? See, your answer is like having this human body head. It means introduction that should pave the way for the next main body, yeah, torso, main body. That where you will demand totally fulfill. Karoge. And at the end, you shall have, you will have a conclusion. to the answer that conclusion should be optimistic that conclusion should be futuristic and that conclusion should be current affair connected so that it should be well structured answer then effective use of maps and diagram equally that you need to keep it in mind while writing answer then use of subject specific terminologies yeah for each of the subject domain for the matter you know aapki ek apni vocabulary hoti hai ek vocab hoti hai aur wo agar ethics ke paper mein for example probability then uh, इंटीग्रिटी एथिक्स मोरलिटी ये टर्म्स ट्रांसपेरेंसी करप्शन ये टर्म्स अगर आएंगे तो वो रिफ्लेक्ट यू नो दैट रिफ्लेक्ट सिंपली दैट पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट स्पेशलाइजेशन सेम इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन में भी आपको अकॉर्डिंगली जोग्राफी में भी अकॉर्डिंगली यू नीड टू कैच दो स्पेसिफिक टर्म्स एंड पुड इन वाइल्ड राइडिंग दो कंटेंट इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट है ये भी इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड देन presentation competency how effectively you are presenting your answer that makes your answer rather you know much more uh, uh, impressive and equally you know it finds rather evaluator rather finds a right and well connect so answer writing is i believe is really an art you know and this is what the opinion of all other toppers as well so i hope guys this uh, explanation helped you to understand the answer writing how do i approach it further we, like on the plutus channel itself in our uh, you will find many videos further for this and in do and uh, i would like to mention over here as well ke at the plutus is we regularly engages right engage this sessions on the topper answer copy evaluation and again how to inculcate those uh, observations or qualities while writing in your answer so i wish you all the best for all your uh, answer writing efforts i recommend you to uh, join the test series to join uh, to get it your evaluate your answer and yes you can even join the brutus ies for the specifically answer writing sessions as well thank you guys